Hey, YTPC. Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, wanted to check in, say hi. Uh, a little housekeeping. I'm smoking my Peterson. It's a six Shape 606 Army Mount. This is the Ashford finish, whatever that means. I got this from, I think, GQ Tobaccos. Had a good deal on it, so... Um, Shipping wasn't too bad. It was cheaper than buying it in the States, so it's funny that the way that works sometimes. Sometimes it's cheaper to ship things, you know, across, across the pond. Um, but anyways, I like it. It's nice. It's pot shape. Smokes really well. I love army mounts. Jay Mouton just did a nice video on army mounts and spigots. Smoking some University Flake, Peterson. Um, picked that up at, you know, figures. I, I finally made it to the Chicago Pipe Collectors Club meetings. Uh, and so I made it to one. A special thanks to Jeff the Chef for uh, giving me the invite. Uh, it was nice to meet Jeff. Uh, sadly, I didn't get to talk to him a whole lot. Uh, we didn't end up sitting in the same area, but uh, it was nice to meet him nonetheless. The YTPC is great. It was nice to get the invite and to kind of go hang out with a bunch of pipe smokers. So uh, they made me feel really welcome. This is similar to the pipe that 13 Pipe smokes. Uh, he's got the 2019 uh, Christmas. 606 which is a rusticated i have that pipe as well um but i liked it enough that i wanted to get a second so this is a smooth finish um, but otherwise the same pipe can't argue with an army mount spigots are nice but sometimes they're a little too much bling bling for me i like uh, just a little simple silver band acrylic kind of cumberland stem it'll last for forever um, if I'm smoking Virginias or typically I like having a longer stem, not a church warden, but something a little bit longer. So this is closer to like almost six, almost seven inches. So it keeps, keeps it a little cooler if I'm smoking Virginias. While I was at the, uh, pipe club meeting, um, I sparked up some Peterson three P's Peterson perfect plug. That was my first time trying that. I kind of cut it up beforehand. I used a, a pipe tray that Todd Blessing had made me. Um, and I, I let it dry out a little bit. Um, and it was ready to go. And that was nice. I really liked that. 2020 has been a year of a lot of things. But for me, as far as blends go, I've really found that I like uh, Virginia Burley blends uh, in flake form. So... Uh, that was one that I hadn't tried. That was actually the first plug that I've ever smoked. Um, and I liked it a lot. It was really good. But one of the guys there um, was passing around a tin for people to try if they wanted to try. Um, it was a, a 2014 tin of, was it 1792 Flake, the Samuel Gallick blend. It had developed some really nice crystals on it with the age. Um, I don't know. That's one that's kind of been on my radar, but I didn't look into it a whole bunch before I went. Um, and so, you know, he offered. So I, you know, I, I said, sure. I grabbed a flake. And like, mind you, I'd just done the three Ps, which is fairly stout. I'm not a, you know, vitamin N lightweight by any means. But uh, I didn't... I didn't remember what was in uh, 1792 Flake. Apparently, well, it's got a few things. It's got the Tonquin bean, which is supposed to give you kind of like a vanilla flavor. Maybe if you had told me it was in there, I maybe could have picked it out, but I didn't taste any vanilla. It was kind of dark and mysterious. I liked it, um, but man, that packed a punch. I was uh, I was sweating. I had to like take my coat off a little bit. You know. I was, I was like, man, what is this, man? I felt like uh, an 18 year old at the at a you know at a drinking party that like you know your first few beers and you're like, wow, you know, it's getting a little warm in here. Uh, but uh, no, it was it was fun. I, I liked it. It was it was a it was a good blend. It was a good experience. Uh, so thanks again to Jeff. Uh, I definitely 
if I can make it to one or two more before I before I move, then uh, you know I would definitely will. So anyway, uh, wanted to jump on and say happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Um, it was a different Thanksgiving this year, you know. Uh, one not like years gone by. I'm still figuring out this university flake. I like Virginia Burleys. Um, this has, to me, a little bit more Burley than it does Virginia, and I'm not a really big Burley fan. I like what, when they're balanced out, the Virginia, you know, sweetens up the Burley a little bit. Um, but to me, I taste more Burley with this, um, and definitely, judging by the copious amount of smoke, I would say it has more Burley in it also. But, you know, you prepare a Thanksgiving meal, like kind of, you think about times gone by, maybe family members that, uh, you know, aren't with us anymore, um, which kind of makes you sad, but at the same time, I'm kind of glad they're not going through this whole, you know, silly pandemic, uh, you know, I don't know, it was, it was different, um, you know, I... The, up to this point, I haven't known anybody really that has uh, had the dreaded C word, really. Uh, you know, we just know somebody that knows somebody, but uh, now I'm starting to have some family members that have gotten it. Um, my wife's family on their side, some grandparents uh, recently passed. So uh, the reality is, you know, kicking in a little bit. Um, I don't know. So, you know, my, my dad's side, he lives locally, but they're taking it pretty serious. And his wife just had knee surgery, my, uh, my stepmother. So, uh, you know, they're keeping their distance. So we actually made Thanksgiving dinner, um, put everything in Tupperware and brought it over to them. Um, didn't obviously didn't go in, but, uh, delivered some Thanksgiving dinner to them. So. And then we had kind of the Zoom Thanksgiving, you know, we met over Skype or Zoom or whatever. Um, so that was different. Um, obviously, it wouldn't be my preference. I'd rather meet in person, but, you know, it is what it is this year. So we did go to my wife's family. Um, uh, the ones that were sick were not around here. They were in, even a different country. So, uh, so... You know, and there are people that the people we saw were the people that we kind of interact with on a weekly basis anyway. So it wasn't like increasing our sphere of interaction. So, um, but it was nice. It was good to get together and eat and, uh, and, you know, just celebrate, you know, the friends and family that we still have that we love. Um, you know, eventually this Thanksgiving ends up going into the memory bank and it's something that we recall years from now god willing um at other thanksgivings when we look back and uh think about friends and family so i hope you all had uh, a great thanksgiving i won't drag this on too long i want to keep it under 10 minutes but uh Happy Thanksgiving, guys. I hope you're all doing well. Um, yeah, God is good. And uh, it's always good to be thankful. Look at all, all that you have, all that you're blessed with, and uh, count your blessings. So I'm thankful for my family, my wife and kids, and, uh, and hopefully a, an interesting new year. So um, that's about it. Take care, guys. God bless, and enjoy your pipes. Signing off.